Alright lads, so can you believe it? In the month of November, the Bleach a Thousand Year Blood War conflict celebration campaign that started this time last month is still getting updates. And in case you aren't already aware, what we have right now for the next two weeks is another guaranteed sorry for ticket, but it can give you a Thousand Year Blood War unit. And the pool does seem relatively up to date. The chance of getting that 1000 G battle unit is going to be low, but the possibility is there. And I have seen a lot of people get characters like Owetsu, Kimpachi, Sergeant, for example. Really good unit, and all you have to do is do 1000 single player quest clears using a Sorry Bomb that's kind of released in the last year. So there's plenty of characters that you can use. As long as they have this name, they are counting towards this counter. And I've already gone ahead and farmed it up on both of my accounts, and we are going to be using that in today's video. But it's also worth mentioning, it has been brought to my attention that this seems to be a thing that we're going to be getting all the way till the end of the year. So I guess this is likely to happen every time an anime does happen. A new season. We are currently on season 3, so likely these type of orders will return when season 4 airs in like 2025-2026. So once this challenge does end on the 18th, I believe we are getting another round of a guaranteed Quincy ticket, where we therefore want to use Quincy's. Now, does that mean every banner till the end of the year is going to be Thousand Year Blood War? I would like to say no. You know, last mid-month, for example, we knew we were going to get Quincy's because we were getting a Quincy ticket. And if we are getting another Quincy ticket for the mid-month, I don't necessarily say that confirms Quincy. Especially because right now, this Soul Reaper Round 2 ticket, where we want to use Soul Reapers, it just got added at the end of the month, alongside a banner with Quincy characters. So basically, what I'm trying to say, I hope that mid-month isn't going to be another Thousand Year Blood or Banner. Either way, let's go to our event orders. And I always get asked, what's the best way to do this? Efficiently, the best way to do it is, of course, in point events. I mean, you should be farming point events anyway, but point events in particular can give you soul tickets in return. So my planes event, you're getting soul tickets back, which you can put back into this event to get even more soul tickets. Efficiently, as always, the point event is the best way to do it. If you're trying to speed run, though, I guess, funny enough, the Yu-Gi-Oh quest would be the fastest because this quest takes, like, less than 10 seconds to complete. I mean, doing a 1,000 soul tickets on this quest would result in a lot of 4-star coins. Maybe if you need to max out your entire box, it's worth doing a few runs on this, but I would say stick to the point event. With that said, here's our 5-star summon tickets. Let's go ahead and claim up all the rewards. And we are going to be doing this on my main and also alt account. And the hope, as always, is to try and get a thousand year bottle unit. Even if it's like not a great dupe, if I can get a thousand year bottle character, that would be great. Since we are here, though, let's go ahead and do our free guaranteed, not guaranteed, our free summon. My summons thus far have been decent. Potential fake out doesn't seem like it. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. My main goal for any free multis is to try and get free five stars, excluding the guaranteed ticket. So let's start up with the Brave Soul summon tickets. We have 200 tickets to use here. I was, I don't know what character I would like to get here. I guess the best possible character I can get is actually Mugetsu. But I wouldn't mind a new character. We are getting a 5 star. How many 5 stars is the question. And we're getting... That's an Ichigo. But that's not the one we want. Unfortunately. What are the odds though? Arbic Ichigo. Love this character. Not the character I want though. We got Moe. I don't know if I have him 5-5. Five, five, so I guess I'll potentially take it. 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. He hit us with his luck. Can we get... No, can't mind. Moe is blessing the next multi. Is what he's doing. Come on. Let's see that animation. Yes, sir. To 5 star. We're going to get a fake animation. Who are we getting? Eyes in fake out. Well timed. Because the Battle of the episode just came out today. At least when I'm actually recording this. We're getting Izuru here. Used to unironically be a good character back in the old days of Bleach Brave Souls. Not right now, though. We got Okura. That's the third anniversary one. Would have really loved if that was the renewed one, right? Because I still want to 5 5 him. Zamari. That's new. That's actually new. Hold on. That is the new one, right? Hey, we'll take it. That's a new character. That's all I can really ask for. Wait, is that the new juice roll? Wait, is there even a new juice roll? <laughs> there is actually, that's not it. Hey, what? Wait! Huh? Wait, is... Did I not have him? I didn't! That is crazy! I actually just got two new characters in one multi, what? He was actually one of the older characters that I was missing, to be fair, but what a summon! Two new characters! 
I'm going to just use the brace or summon tickets. I can't believe I've already made profit from this video. I was not even expecting to get one new character. So next up, let's go ahead and use our point event ticket. So this can give us any premium character released when this point event did come out. So basically any premium character in the game right now. I am going to start saving my summon ticket starting next month. That's what I usually do. Ain't no way we just got another art book. What are the odds? What are the odds? That could have been two 9th anniversary Mugetsus, man. That is so unfortunate. But here we go. Moment of truth, right? So when it comes to this ticket, there's a wide pool of characters. And we really still don't know what the character pool is. Where does it stop? What's the oldest character you can pull? It might genuinely be every Soripa character. So every premium Soripa, every Thousand Your Blood was Soripa. Potentially the chance of us getting something good here is going to be low. But I would absolutely love a... A wetsuit dupe, please. That would be amazing. And we're getting for our guaranteed Soripa ticket. We got Aizen? Oh, that's the new Aizen too. I was like, which Aizen is this? I, for, for some reason, I thought it was Thousand Blood Worm. Uh, it's a newish character, to be fair. It's a character that came out this year. So it's not the worst pull. It's a premium, though, so it's not the best pull. But it's Aizen at the same time, so, like, it's it's not too bad. And that actually unlocks its focus slot, so I guess we'll take it. I mean, if I was to get a premium character, better to get a 2024 character than a 2021 character that I believe I got last time. With that said, though, hopping over to the Oz account, again, I've gotten the 1,000 runs here. It would be nice, though, to be honest, to get a Thousand Blood Worm character from one of these story per tickets because thus far you know our, our quinty ticket was quite lucky both of my quinty tickets last time did give me a thousand year blood one unit granted the chance of getting luckier on that quinty ticket is a lot higher because there's a smaller character pool like it's almost like a 50 percent chance you get something good whereas the super one of course there is a lot more fodder for the most part right with that said though we do have some summer tickets to use it so let's go ahead and use 100 brave solo summer tickets but yeah truth be told if i was to get luckier on one ticket the quinty or sorry but i I would prefer to get luckier on the Quinty ticket. Really hoping to get a character like Sunsu Bambietta or even Sangu. Original OG Halibel. Three and one there on 100 Brave Soul Summon tickets isn't too bad. Character wise, it could have been better. Going up to our point event ticket. Again, any premium character here. Be kind of funny if we get a similar character that we've already pulled thus far. Maybe another art book. Come on. Ah, uh, that's Shuhei. Is that the speed one? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. It's a decent pull. Maybe not so much, actually, to be fair. But this is the main one. The main one right here. Actually, hold on. We're stalling a tiny bit. Let's use our 50 golden summon tickets here. Hopefully, we get an animation. We're getting an animation. That means we're getting a 5-star. The question is, though, what 5-star we're getting? Another Okiori, that's the, um, Segunda Tap of the Mind one. And unfortunately, that's all we did get. But that's building up. We've gotten the bad luck out of the way. Here we go. Sorry, but 2024 summon ticket. Can we get someone good? Can we get a thousand chip out one unit? We're about to find out. And we are getting... Did I get Jushu again? Did I just pull him on my... <laughs> <laughs> that is so unfortunate. That really does suck too because my main account last time we used our Sorpa ticket, I got a Kido tournament character. And this is another Kido tournament character. So I pull, I ended up pulling two characters granted on different accounts from the same banner. I'm curious to know if this is like the oldest characters in this banner. I haven't seen a character older than this. But then again, to be fair, you can get the OG mind let's still order you from the Quinty ticket. So maybe it does have like every old character. But then again, maybe given that there's not that many Quincy's, it does include every Quincy character. Whereas opposed to Sorry Puzz, there's a lot more. Maybe there is a limit. But for me, I've yet to see a character older than this character here. So if you have already gone ahead and picked up this ticket, let me know what you like to get in the console alone. And if not, let me know what you like to get last time. Because again, I'm kind of curious to know what the character pool is for this ticket. What's the oldest character we can get? What's the newest? At least in the last ticket, the newest character we could get was Owetsu. It's been a month since Rukia, Renji, and Biaki have come out. So maybe they're included in this ticket, but I'd like to say they're probably not. Likely, the ticket pool is the exact same, and the newest character you can get is Thousand Year Blood or Wetsu and also Tanjiro. And to be fair, that's not even that bad. They're great characters to get, especially if you can't get them for free from this ticket. With that said, though, I guess we'll be back in two weeks' time to use our Quinty ticket. Hopefully, we can get lucky over there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. See you guys next time. Take care, and peace.